Now it's been quite the active session on the markets today, and boy, am I glad it's over. And yes, 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 hold your thoughts, hold your finger pointing. You must be wondering, James, why the New York Mets jersey? They're not even in the playoff race. They've been a losing team for the past God knows how many years. Well, let me tell you something. They're still my hometown team. That's right, I'm from Flushing, New York. And I've got to represent them at least once this year, right? And, yep, with my jersey on, with a relatively busy day, it's time for me to finally kick back, relax, and you all know what time it is. It's past 4 o'clock, the markets, they're closed, and it's time for happy hour in New York City. And if you're a Mets fan, you definitely need a drink or two or three. Now, U.S. stocks, they traded mixed Wednesday afternoon amid economic data and announcements from central banks. First, stocks, they held on to earlier trends after the Fed released its Beige Book, a monthly report on the economic situations in which it found modest to moderate expansion. Even earlier, stocks had opened positive on the possibility of a ceasefire between Ukraine as well as Russia. Lifted by transports, July factory orders rose. 10.5%, therefore pointing to a trend of stronger manufacturing. U.S. August auto sales, they were unexpectedly strong, led by Ford Motor, Chrysler, and Nissan, which each beat estimates, and the industry is now seen, well, possibly returning to its best volumes since the pre-recession levels. Now, when you combine all of that data, for every eight decliners, seven advanced over at the New York Stock Exchange this afternoon, and let's now take a look to see how the markets closed out the more than halfway point of this trading week. Now on the corporate front, the big story, Samsung revealing two large screen phones and a virtual reality device at simultaneous events in New York, Beijing, and Berlin. This ahead of Apple's expected unveiling of the iPhone 6 next week. Also, Netflix trading at record highs after the media giant said it reached a deal with Warner Brothers to become the exclusive on-demand provider for the television series Gotham. And Nokia going on to say that it is releasing new free mapping apps for its consumers, trying to compete with similar services from Google as well as Apple. And lastly, CVS came Caremark announcing that it is changing its corporate name to CVS Health following a seven-month process aimed at removing tobacco products from all of its stores. So there you have it. Kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink, and don't go to CVS if you do happen to smoke or do anything that's tobacco-related. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning from OnderWallStreet.com saying Let's Go Mets 2025. I'm James Sweeney.